In the head-to-head -head series, I show you two different patients with two different diseases, but similar radiologic appearances. Today, we're going to look at the forehead. Here's patient number one. You can see a mass in the forehead deforming the skin line, and you can even see a small defect in the underlying bone. Here's the same patient, a slightly lower cut, shows the abnormality inside the frontal sinuses, and it shows a ratty appearance to both the anterior and posterior tables of the frontal sinus. Here's patient number two. Once again, we have a mass deforming the shape of the forehead with abnormalities in the underlying frontal sinus. A cut slightly lower down shows abnormalities throughout the frontal sinuses, and again, a ratty appearance to the anterior and posterior tables of the frontal sinuses. This would be a good time to pause the video and see if you can figure out what the different diseases are in patient number one and patient number two. All right, let's look at them individually. Patient number one has a solidly enhancing mass, right? Uniform enhancement throughout the mass. There's a lot of destruction in the underlying bone, but you can see the component of the mass within the frontal sinus also has uniform enhancement and a convex border. This is a solid, uniformly enhancing tumor. It's probably a metastasis. I don't think you can figure out exactly where it came from. In this particular patient with widespread osseous metastatic disease, this turns out to be a plasma cytoma in the setting of multiple myeloma. Patient number two has a centrally necrotic mass. There's rim enhancement around the outside, and importantly, there's infiltration into the surrounding fat planes. The component of the lesion inside the sinus is also low density. When we go further down, we see that this is all low density material, no enhancement, but you can sure see the infiltration of the fat planes. This is an infection. The ratty appearance to the tables of the frontal sinus looks pretty similar in these two cases. So the solid mass is a plasma cytoma, metastatic disease, in this case a plasma cytoma. The necrotic mass is an abscess with extensive surrounding cellulitis. That's a big clue that this is an infection. This is a classic appearance of POTS puffy tumor. That's an infection of the frontal sinus, an acute bacterial sinusitis that breaches through the anterior table of the frontal sinus to form a soft tissue abscess in the scalp.